All right. So this is a demonstration of the Skyview app, right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and basically you take your computer and point it at the night sky and it recognizes the stars and the constellations and it tells you what they are. So we're just going to take a pan of the sky and uh, see what we can come up with. I don't know what uh, constellation that is. Capricorn. We're going to move to the right. There's a constellation of Sagittarius. What else do we got? Is that the, is that the Skylab? Hubble. Hubble Space Telescope. It even tells you that the knows where the uh, Hubble Space Telescope is in the sky. I'm going to turn to the right a little and see what it recognizes. That is Scorpio, the constellation of Scorpio. And I think this is where Saturn was, right? See? So it recognizes Saturn up there in the sky. Saturn, what does it say? Saturn is one of the five planets easily visible to the naked a lot. Oh, naked eye along with Mercury, Venus, Mars, and Jupiter. And when you look up at the sky right now, you certainly can see uh, Jupiter with your naked eye. We can pick it out. It's yellow up there. Saturn. Saturn. And then we're panning to the right a little. And that's what? Libra? Mm -hmm. Constellation of Libra. One of the twelve... Astrological, astrological signs in the zodiac. So we're basically just pointing the computer up in the sky and it's recognizing the stars and the constellations. What's that, Aquarius? Virgo. Virgo. The sixth astrological sign in the zodiac. The application. Skyview recognizes these things. Later on we'll cue in on a star. You can even pick any star you want and it's going to tell you what it is. You going to pick one? I'm trying. Am I in your way? No. Okay, I'd get one. So that star is Arcturus, located in the constellation Boots. Arcturus has the following classification. It's a variable star. So we're standing out here at night with this computer pointing at the sky. And it's recognizing the stars and telling us what it is. See the next thing it recognizes. It's the bear, Ursa Major constellation. I hear it humming. And we're panning around to the right side of the sky. Looks like a little dipper in there. Mm -hmm. Ursa Minor. Mm -hmm. Constellation above horizon, it says. It's a little dipper, I guess. This portion of the sky, it's recognizing the stars. Did you pick a star? Rukba. That's the name of that star. Panning around again. I hope this video isn't making some kind of hideous noise that I can't figure out why. So we can't hear it now while we're filming the sky. I hear it a little bit. You can hear the hideous noise that we were hearing last night? Yeah. Oh, God. What's that? Ah, uh, there's the constellation of Pisces. Constellation Pisces. This app recognizes the stars in the sky. So the next one. We saw a whole bunch last night too, right? Mm -hmm. Taurus. Cancer. Let's see if you can find another constellation. There's one. Aquarius it recognizes the star pattern. Skyview is the app. Hear frogs in the background? Mm hmm. What's next? Is that Hubble again? Mm -hmm. Hubble and Sagittarius. I'm being bitten by mosquitoes. Me too. <laughs> really bad. <laughs> Is Libra and Saturn again? Mm-hmm. Yikes. All right. What else? I'm getting bit up. Me too. Scorpio. Did we see Mars last night? That's a 
That's it. Is there Mars in this one? No. Oh, there's, there's Mars. Cancer. There's a constellation of Cancer. I'm going to click on this because I think it's Mars. It is Mars in there. Click it again. See? Mm-hmm. Mars is one of the planets easily visible to the naked eye, along with Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, and Saturn. So, tonight we saw... I'm chewed up. <laughs> and there's what? Leo? The constellation mm -hmm. of Leo. I guess Venus is within there somewhere in... With Jupiter. Jupiter. Mercury. It's so sick how this application recognizes the stars just by pointing the computer at it at night. There's um, the crab, right? Mm -hmm. what, is, what is that, Cancer the crab? Mm -hmm. It's still saying Mercury, though. There's the International Space Station. And then it tells you uh, it'll be at its highest point in the sky again tonight at 10.43 p.m. Right now it's probably around 8 o'clock. Cancer with Mars in it. What's that one? Virgo, the twins? Gemini. Gemini, the twins, sorry. Constellation of Gemini, it recognizes. It's so sick. <laughs> All right. What's that, a star? Mm hmm. What's the name of that star? Anything else? Mm -mm. I wonder if there's, I thought we saw other ones last night, like Taurus or something. It's just another star called Deneb. There's a big bullfrog back there, hear it? Mm -hmm. It's crazy. And Pisces again, right? Mm -hmm. You think that's about it? Yeah. Well, I think it's a good enough demonstration video. Mm -hmm. If there's a horrible electronic noise, going on here? Oh, Aries. Did we see that before? Mm -hmm. Constellation of Aries. If there's a horrible electronic noise going through this, I apologize. Oh, that's a new one. Mm -hmm. Taurus. So that's that constellation that it recognizes. Gemini. Gemini again. Is that one of the planets there? Yeah. Mars. Mars within uh, mm -hmm. the crab. Leo, again, with Mercury in it, planet. All right, mm -hmm. I think that's a good enough. Mm -hmm. There's Saturn again, up in the sky. Now when you can see Saturn with your eyes, it's in the constellation of Libra. Mm -hmm. All right, so that's it, the Skyview app demonstration. Take your computer and point it at the night sky, and this app recognizes the stars in the constellations. Thanks for looking.